Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. My name is Technomagus, and today we are going to be working on getting some of the unlocks for the variants that are now available in Sentinels of the Multiverse, uh, thanks to the Shattered Timelines. So, we have eight total variants to look forward to, um, thanks to both Mini Pack 2 and uh, Shattered Timelines. We have Variant Haka, the Eternal Haka. There is Scholar, um, the Scholar of the Infinite. We have... What else? Freedom, and then the Freedom 6 variants of Wraith, Unity, Tempest, Tachyon, um, who else was it? Bunker, and Absolute Zero. Alright, so, uh, first one, now, there's a couple pre prerequisites for everyone except for Scholar, in that, uh, this start off for Haka, he has to be the last man standing in a game before, uh, you can unlock him. Or, and then, and then do a second game, and then you can unlock his variant. Um, for the Freedom 6 team, you have to take them into battle against Iron Legacy and lose. <laughs> they, they, they thought ahead of this one. So I've actually already done the prerequisites off camera. Um, though just to be safe, we're gonna do a, or we're gonna. I'm actually not 100% sure that the weekly one shots count for Haka, so I'm gonna. We'll go ahead and run through with him real quick. And while we're at it, uh, let's go ahead and get Scholar set up. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna try a double unlock here. We might get it. We might not. The uh, so the way that it works is. Um, Haka has to be the last man standing in the final wasteland. It doesn't matter what villain you play against. Scholar, you have to play against Gloomweaver or um, Apostate and win after Scholar has been knocked out and over the course of the game the Scholar's player must have healed the heroes for at least 20 health. So, um, we're gonna make this nice and easy. We're gonna grab Gloomweaver because he is nice and easy and we're also gonna be at the final wasteland. So we just need another, uh, let's see. So we've got a couple other characters to, oh, that we can work on while we're at it. Um, let's actually also work towards getting Freedom 6 Tachyon. So the way that she is unlocked is that you have to play Fleet of Foot five times over the course of the game. She only has three in her deck. <laughs> So there needs to be some recycling, and for that we're going to bring along Arjun Adept. So we have our team. Um, we're going to be doing so: Haka with Arjun Adept, Scholar, and Tachyon. The goal is Scholar is going to heal everybody, and then he's going to kill himself. Arjun Adept is going to recycle Fleet of Foot over and over and over again, and then he's going to kill himself and Tachyon, and then Haka's just going to punch Gloomweaver to death. Sounds like a plan. Let's do it. Alright, so, of course, Gloomweaver is going to start with his cadre of zombies. Oh, of course, a Chosen Disciple is coming out. This is going to hurt. Well, the good news is we have quite a lot of healing for Scholar to work with. Um, oh, one other thing that I forgot to mention with Hakka's... Um, or with, with Haka's uh, unlock, he has to play all three of his Haka cards at least once over the course of the game. So let's go ahead and get the first one out there, the Haka of Shielding. Ooh, Savage Mana. I like Savage Mana. That is a very useful card. And while we're at it, let's punch the Chosen Disciple and get her... We want to get her rid of her as soon as possible. And get a subdominant, and we start Whoa. singing. So, get Haka's savage mana out there, so that he can start permanently getting rid of those zombies. Um, oh, very good. So, everybody... Proverbs and Axioms here is actually a really good card for unlocking... Scholars uh, alternate because you can either choose to have the players heal for two or take three damage to use a power. So we have everybody use a power or heal for two. Uh, 
well, that was only four health. That's a little unfortunate, actually. <laughs> Didn't quite think that went through. But everyone drew cards, so that's important. Oh, and we even have Fleet of Foot to start things off. Excellent. Let's just draw cards forever. Fleet of Foot once, so we're already part way there. That's good. Or we're one fifth of the way there, I should say. And Scholar has taken damage, which means he can now start healing. Hmm. Alright, so now that we have. Um, so we have choices here. We can either play the Haka of she or Haka of Healing and get two of the three Hakas out of the way, or we can play Tayaha. I think I'd rather play Tayaha and clean up some of these zombie servants. Because by putting them under savage mana, oh look, Gloomweaver can no longer recycle them. Whoa. Or not so dumb, not uh, inspired preparation. Uh, and now, unfortunately, Arch Adept's healing does not count towards scholars, uh, or will not actually count towards uh, the scholar. So that's okay. Seven, so this will put us up to six health restored. Now, while uh, Scholar is incapacitated, he can heal the heroes while he's incapacitated, so that will not actually... or so we're not completely out, I should say. down to the Fleet of Foots as soon as possible. Alright, the good news is the uh, all of the enemy, or all of the uh, Final Wasteland enemies, most of them tend to go towards the end. That's annoying. Okay, so... What are my options? We could Rampage. Rampage would actually clear out quite a large chunk of this. Um, yeah, I'm okay with this. To our own guys, so that Haka can, uh, or so that Scholar can heal them up a bunch. Let's get rid of her permanently. And I don't like the Rat Beast. Okay, so now, um, let's just play two melodies, play melody, accompany harmony. I don't actually have a 
the song that I want to play at the moment. So let's just Rhapsody. Whoa! And have Tachyon throw out her fleet of foot. Give everybody some more cards. actually let her play a card right now. Um, yeah, let's Nimble Strike. Get rid of the Chupacabra. Oh, sweet. Fleet of Foot number three. Okay, so... We're at six healing already, so let's add another eight. So now we have healed a total of 14, so I just need to heal, well, now five more. Goggles lets us play more cards. Ooh, Khan's Bunker. Everyone heals one at the end of the environment turn, but at the beginning of the environment turn, we have to either blow it up or play the top card of the environment deck. third Haka. So, get rid of Dominion. Sure. Okay, so we have our two... Two of the three Hakas played. So now let's go ahead and smack these down. into hand. Uh, put flare on top. Onslaught on the bottom. Trash the drum. And then we'll play Sonata. Okay. Give Haka back his rampage. I don't need that back. Let's get back Proverbs and Axioms, and a fleet of foot. Whoa! So now Scholar is going to play Don't Dismiss Anything. This is another really powerful card. Um, we Each player chooses to either put a card on top of their deck or play the top card of their deck. So Arjun Adep will play the top card of his deck and have no powers to do anything with. Scholar will play the top card of his deck and make everybody draw cards and then... get to heal. And this will give us the 20 health that we need to unlock Scholar's alternate form. Okay, so Tachyon... Play Fleet of Foot, that is number four. And then she can play Fleet of Foot number five, which is in her hand, and that will give us our alternate Tachyon at the end of this fight. 
Hopefully she does not need to sur actually survive, otherwise that will be rather awkward. in the trash. Uh, forgot the lightning reflexes. So that she can play two more cards. Blinding speed to get rid of strength of the grave. And then... Oh, it's only going to have eight in there. Um, that's right, because uh, the, the fleet of foots are still considered in play, technically. Sure. Alright, let's start by keeping moving with a mortal form to energy. This says is, when he gains health, he deals that much damage to something. And now I get to play a card, so let's play... Don't dismiss anything! Let everybody put stuff into play. have a whole bunch of stuff that we can do. Um, I actually have to hold off on doing everything just because I don't want to accidentally kill something I'm not supposed to. Destroy Khan's bunker. Uh, tag the powder bones, sure. Oh, look, it's a cursed acolyte. Isn't he always? Alright, so... Let's see here... Final Haka. And then we'll get rid of... Intercession... Mere and punish the weak. So, uh, right now I'm fighting Gloomweaver with a team and attempt to unlock three different uh, variants. Oh, I screwed up. Uh, bugger. Oh well. All right. So Tayaha, because this sable pin is the lowest health, I have to hit it with to get the bonus from Punish the Week, otherwise I lose a damage, which means I can't kill this Cursed Acolyte. That's, uh, that's a really awkward. Oh well. Well, we're shoving the Pouch of Bones underneath Savage Mana. Okay, so... now we are going to... Arcane Cadence, and let's get Cadence to hand, um, Sonata on top, 
Conjuration on the bottom. Bulwark to the discard and play Silver Shadow. Let a player play a card. Haka will Rampage. Yes, Sable Pin is the lowest health. Yes, we want to put... Get rid of Ronway. One advantage to um, Punish the Weak is that Punish the Weak only gives the bonus on villain targets, and non-villain targets get an automatic minus one. Or rather, non-hero targets, I should say. Then we will play an Arcane Cadence. Flip some more stuff. Um, hmm. So let's put Fernal Sonata to hand. Conjuration to the top. Flare to the bottom. Discard Zajero and play Silver Shadow. And who do we want to play a card? I think I want Haka to play a card. Is that correct? Oh, Haka doesn't really have anything worth playing. Um, Scholar, what do you have? Yeah, we'll have Scholar play a card. Scholar will draw five cards, and since this is not Scholar's turn, no one to hold fast will not end the turn. And we will play another card and play Instrumental Conjuration. Uh, where is the Lyra? The Lyra is still in the deck, so deck. Telemon's Lyra. Form subdominant. Um, who do I want to play? And Tachyon can play. Tachyon will lightning reflexes into Sonic Vortex. Tag this snowman down. And Gloomweaver. And sure, we'll tag the other snowman. And then we'll sucker punch the snowman. Because they're not gonna they're gonna go after my guys and not the uh, and not Gloomweaver, so let's just get rid of him. And Scholar can put out his eh, recovery, sure. Draw some more cards. Even though he's already at full health. Well, it's good that you're not having any problems with hitbox anymore. All right, so it's for uh, let's keep mortal form and energy. We'll get rid of truth seeker because we don't really need that. We're drawing cards for days. We don't need flesh to iron because that keeps alchemist alive, and I kind of want him to die. So let's see. There's actually not a whole lot for me to out there, so we'll just play Bring What You Need and use it. I get to choose two of the top three cards in my deck and put them into my hand. Keep moving's pretty good. So is Proverbs and Axioms. Yes, Tachyon wants to deal herself damage. Sure. Let's get rid of Khan's bunker. That's keeping my guys alive. Oh, 
Oh, skunk ape. That thing hits everybody. It's only one damage though, so it's not that big of a deal. <laughs> you have no dudes in your discard pile. I'm making absolutely sure of that. Uh, sure, we'll keep Tanaka alive. And then... Hmm. That's annoying. I really need to get another damage booster for Haka so that he can actually, you know, deal damage like he's supposed to. Alright, what do we have for options? Uh, let's get Supertonic. This is Perform Harmony, Accompany Rhythm. Perform Harmony, perf Accompany Harmony. Okay. Adapts will clear uh Haka will start swinging his Tayahas. Just hit everything. Uh, what do you have? Do you have anything to deal damage? Why don't you have anything to deal damage? Um, you do, but I don't want you dealing damage. I, w I need you to not live. All right, I have an idea. Uh, seventeen. Could I have him deal seven? No, I don't want him to deal seventeen to his own face. We just not a terrible idea, but... Oh, I know what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. Choose for me. Take three damage to use a power. Uh, I already used Tayaha this turn, so I can't use it again, but I can crush and get rid of this Chosen Disciple. Everybody will heal, which is kind of counterintuitive, but I can then use this to give uh, to give Haka back his rampage. adorable. I can redirect the damage to Gloomweaver and still get the power activation. Because normally extra, uh, extra power effects like that say you have to actually take the damage. bunch of stuff just happened. Um, get rid of this expect the worst, because that keeps Scholar alive. Uh, don't 
almost miss anything. Play the top card of your deck. Oh, look, it's a rampage. Dissonant doesn't do anything relevant. No, oh, alchemical redirection. It's kind of annoying. Well, actually, no, not really, because this means that I can redirect everything to the Scholar, even though... So this will help get him lower on health, and make him get, uh, make him die easier. Uh, sure, transmutation and transmutation. Yes, Tachyon can take... Or rather, Scholar can take two sonic damage for Tachyon. Uh, let's play that, and punch Gloomweaver a lot. And then draw some more cards, because we like drawing cards. Get rid of this extra HUD goggles, because it's not going to do anything. Oh, the Unforgiving Wasteland. So now when an environment target kills something, it removes that something from the game completely. <laughs> oh, the drum of despair. I'm trembling in my boots. Alright, so... Uh, I guess? Heal of Haka. Sure. Just start punching the drum. Okay, let's see here. So we'll start off with a silver shadow. And let Haka play that elbow smash of his. Page. Uh, Arjun Adept will bring back Cadence. D don't dismiss anything. And. Oh, geez, so much lag from all this stuff getting loading. Uh, Fleet of Foot, sure. So now we have songs to sing. Our genetic will use power. Debate the Lyra. Um, let's see. Do you have a don't dismiss anything in your hand? You do not. Hmm. I could... Recovery... Yeah, okay, we'll do that. So... Oh, wrong! Oh, well. I'm not backing up. It takes way too long to go through an Arjunet at power turn. Or power phase. So Haka will just... swing his Tayaha. supposed to do was I was supposed to play Alacritus Abdominant, have uh, Scholar play Transmutive Recovery to draw two cards, which would draw him into Don't Dismiss Anything, and then let me play it to get another Rampage. But, oh well. It's not that big a deal. Uh, 
Well, actually, you know what? Whoa! We'll do it anyway. I lose the Lacrimus of Dominant this way, but I get it out. I get this going. Actually, nah. We'll just don't dismiss. I could have um, I could have used keep moving to get a bunch of elemental forms in play, and then don't dismiss. But I'd rather not. I even this caller's been drawing so many cards. Do I even have any elementals? Yeah, there's no elementals left in the deck, so I have to wait till he recycles. Um, hmm. Eh, we'll just redirect for another turn. Yes, we want to draw a card. So the last two cards got put into his hand, and then he drew a card. Okay, so now we need to... Let's go Hypersonic Assault. And then... Synaptic response, and that's it. And discard. Uh, we actually do not want to draw a card, because I don't want to reshuffle Tachyon's deck just yet, because she has a ton of bursts in her deck, or in her discard. Basically, almost all of them. So I can have her essentially kill Argent Adept and Scholar at will. No one's discarding anything because Gloom Weaver can't deal damage. Oh look, it's a Profane Zealot. Guy is really annoying. Um, yeah, we'll just Rampage. Yes, put the drum under... And... Kill the Zealot. Alright, we were actually almost done here. Because essentially all I need to do now is... Um, I can have Scholar kill himself on his turn, and then have Tachyon take out herself and Argent Adept. Actually, wait a minute. Oh no, I only have one Lightspeed Rush. Uh, and the, oh, there's only 15 bursts in the trash, so I can't actually... Um, hmm. Let's see. Hmm. 
trying to think of how exactly I want to pull this off. Oh, today is a day of happy? Why is that? Oh, that, that's a good reason. Mental forms into play. And then draw a bunch of cards. Vitality Surge and heal some. Okay. Yes, Arjunadet would like to draw a card. Okay, so now we need to... Well, let's get rid of Flesh to Iron. Uh, get rid of Expect the Worst. Expect the worst. And flesh to iron. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to keep that second flesh to iron in play. Oh well. Um. Oh, well, I still have more than enough. Okay. So we're just going to. Scholar is going to pitch his hand and end himself in a massive lightning strike. Because reasons. He has served his purpose. He has done well. Thank you, Scholar. Alright, so now... Um, we have, what, 15 bursts in the trash? That's only 15 damage. That is not enough to... Oh, actually, that is just enough to kill Arjun Adept. And that was not the card that I thought it was. Um, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna back that up a little bit. Uh, let's see. Fifteen cards. Here we go. So we'll hit Arjunata for two damage. That'll put her up to sixteen bursts in the trash, and then she can lightspeed barrage Arjun Adept and knock him out. Sorry, dude. You're my favorite hero and all, but... Uh, I kind of need you dead. No, she does not want to draw a card. Uh, 
Sure, redirect to the Chupacabra. Gloomweaver brings out Vast Following, nothing happens because he has no cards in his discard pile that he can bring back. I guess we just Haka a battle. I'm gonna need to discard four cards to make sure I can get rid of the Zealot. So there's one, two, uh, let's see, three, and four. Okay. So now I can tie Aha and hit him for exactly five. Yes, put it under. And then whack the Chupacabra for three, four, put that under. Okay, so we can have one hero heal one, one hero use a power, or what is that last one? Can't re quite read it. Inflict damage type until the starting next turn. Increase all damage of that type dealt by heroes by one. Uh, we'll just have Haka heal one. Alright, Scholar is... One player may draw a card, one player may use power, or two heroes heal one each. Um, let's have Haka draw a card. Hmm. This doesn't quite work. Tachyon's running out of cards. Alright, I guess... We'll just start building back up. So let's get rid of these Sucker Punches. And then... Play another Hypersonic Assault. Keep Gloomweaver off of damage. Okay, so now we will have Haka heal. It's really not. It, it's literally play one card, draw one card, or play one card, use one power, and then draw one card. Um, there are things that may, or there is strategy to each of the characters that allow you to go beyond that. But it's you don't really have to get into the real intricacies of the game until until you spend some time with it. Unfortunately, there are no Wilhelm screams. It would be great if there were. I'm just... <laughs> nothing is staying alive long enough to actually be meaningful. <laughs> Which is kind of funny, but also really sad, if you think about it. Oh, there's a rampage. Um... hmm. And just keep off damage, because Gloomweaver doesn't need to do anything at all, ever. Supposedly, supposedly, there is a little-known um, feature in the game that Gloomweaver has a flip side. 
but but it is a very rare occurrence. It's frequently thought of as a glitch by the players. Ooh, Ancient Library. So, at the beginning of each player's turn, they can draw two cards. If they do, it plays the top card of the environment deck. There's eight cards left in the environment deck because they're all under... Uh, Haka ate all the rest, so we're going to be drawing lots of cards. Alright, let's see here. Let's go and rampage! I actually need to be careful now, because Gloomweaver is getting kind of close to dead. So, actually, what we're going to do is... We're going to start hitting Tachyon and knocking her out, because I need her to be not alive so that Haka can get his uh, alternate. Alright. Here, I'm going to use power. Haka... Haka will simply use Crush and hit Tachyon for one damage. One single solitary damage. so many things wrong with what I'm actually doing here. Alright, so if I have Tachyon's supersonic response herself, uh, she hits herself twice because she hit herself since the end of her last turn. <laughs> yeah. It, don't ask how it works. It just does. And this will let her finish herself off. Okay, so now, all that's left is to have Haka vomit all the crap that he's eaten over the course of the game all over Gloomy Rich Nice Shoes. Well, first Gloomweaver has to play a card. Oh look, it's a pin. There are 11 cards left in Gloomweaver's deck because everything else is under Haka. Yes, I'd like to draw some cards. I love drawing cards. Alright. Haka of Battle. I am going to make absolutely sure that Gloomweaver does not survive this next hit. Every card I'm discarding here is plus one damage on Haka's next attack. I need to get around to picking up Mario Maker. I'm too busy with Xenoblade right now, though. Alright, so Haka gets plus 18 damage the next time he deals something. He's also going to activate Savage Mana, destroying 20 cards to deal twice that much damage to one target of my choice. So we're gonna deal fifty-seven damage to Gloomweaver. That seems like a that seems like a good amount. Wouldn't you agree? Oh good. So we did get the Eternal Haka. So compared to original Haka, which simply hits things, Eternal Haka is now draw is now card drawing. You draw a card, and then you can discard a Haka, um, one of his 
Haka cards, and if you do, you draw two more. So it fuels him, or it gets him to his cards a lot faster. And we now have Scholar of the Infinite. Um, so instead of healing himself, he deals massive amounts of damage based on the number of cards he's discarded over the course of the turn. Oh, since the end of your last turn. Interesting. thought it was just that particular turn. So, yeah. Um, he can deal a whole lot of damage really quickly, but he also hits himself, so he can kill himself just as quickly. And we have Team Leader Tachyon. Literally the most broken hero card in the game. Her base power, everyone draws a card. Period. I, I, I can't even say anything beyond that. Yes, unfortunately, I have heard of Second Life, and no, I will never play it. Alright, so that has been unlocking of Eternal Haka, Scholar of the Infinite, and Team Leader Tachyon. I'm going to take a quick break, and when I come back, we're going to go for some more unlocks, so see you in a little bit.